Hello, my name is Trevor Thompson. This is part three of the marketing plan analysis and presentation for our Marketing 315 Introduction to Marketing at Grand Canyon University. Good afternoon. I'm here to present the history, marketing, and overall business model of the Hilton Hotels Corporation. The Hilton Hotel brands are one of the largest and most recognizable corporations in the world. In 1919, Conrad Hilton founded the Hilton Hotels with his first purchase of his first hotel in Cisco, Texas. We get a little insight into Mr. Con, uh, Conrad Hilton's vision for his hotels when he stated that one of his goals was, quote, to fill the earth with light and warmth of hospitality. Since Conrad Hilton's death in 1979, Hilton has maintained its excellence and vision of Conrad Hilton. Hilton was the pioneer in such amenities as televisions, telephones being placed in rooms, and the pioneers in the airport hotel concept. Hilton's mission statement says that they want to be the most hospitable company in the world by creating heartfelt experiences for their guests, meaningful opportunities for their team members, and high value for their owners and a positive impact in their communities. With their extended vision statement, they state that they want to fill the earth with light and warmth of hospitality, going back to the original quote by Conrad Hilton himself. And they wanna do this by delivering exceptional experiences to every hotel, hotel, every guest, and every time they interact with their guests. Hilton sums up its marketing objectives with their quote that they want to build relationships with their guests. They tell their guests that they should expect better when they expect Hilton. Let's jump into Hilton's consumer or customer segment and target markets. Uh, one of the segments that we're going to talk about is the geographical segmentation. Um, Hilton uh, really looks into the geography or where, of where they are putting their hotels. Uh, they look for popular tourist or business locations uh, that are culturally diverse all over the world. Hilton's demographic tends to lean toward uh, more ambitious, high income uh, professionals, uh, middle-aged and older. Uh, it doesn't matter whether they're single families, they have um, hotels that can cover um, all of these and and the lifestyles that they want at, at a higher price point though than your normal uh, off the freeway hotels. The psychographic uh, segmentation tends to lead more towards clientele or customers or guests that are willing to pay top dollar for Hilton's excellent customer service and or the amenities and elegant design of the properties. Uh, within the benefit segmentation, Hilton Hotels uh, has their honor program, or their Hilton Hotels honor program. Um, within this program, there are benefits that hotel that Hilton offers to their return loyal. As their loyal customers return, they build up points, and these points can be used uh, within their hotel chain or even online purchases. Um, the in turn, the honors program is there to try to bring back guests and create a loyalty of, of their members and of what the hotel guests and consumers look at. Every team member goes through training to focus on the uh, quality communication that's demanded as well as uh, creating a positive guest experience for their guests. Believe it or not, most of uh, this is overlooked as importance in hotels, but the hospitality or house housekeeping uh, is determined to be one of the most valuable service roles in that hotel uh, chain of representation to their guests, the cleanliness of the rooms, um, and uh, it assures that their guests will be happy and, and the job will be rewarded uh, when those guests return. Uh, let's look into Hilton's pricing objectives. In 2018, Hilton brought in what they called the consumer or consumer centric pricing model. Uh, within this model, they were looking to eliminate the stress of their guests and consumers by giving them an opt out availability within two to three days of 
uh, their hotel stay cancellation with no no fees and uh, no loss of funds on their side. In this, they're hoping to gain a clientele or a customer base that in, like that option and have maybe had those issues in the past, um, in turn increasing the occupancy of their hotels. As you can see from the chart on this slide, um, it definitely did not hurt the company and the con company continues to grow, uh, returning also a large amount, 1.3 billion uh, in capital return to the shareholders uh, year to date. The CEO and president of Hilton Hotels, Christopher Nassett, uh, made a quote on this, uh, referencing their new pricing pricing tactics. Uh, we look at some of the campaigns that they've used for or to drive short-term demand, uh, whether it be in seasonal times in certain locations across the world uh, or just uh, slow times expected. Uh, these are the times that they will kick in these short demand uh, pricing tactics. One of these tactics that they have uh, implemented recently is called a kickback and relax uh, campaign. Um, basically, what that does is give the guests 40% off Sundays when they uh, book three night stays, enticing them to add one more night to their stay and in turn uh, increasing the occupancy of the hotel. Um, another campaign that they've used that we've spoken about already is the Hilton Honors Program. And as you can see in the diagram to the left, it lays out uh, the levels that we had talked about but not gotten into earlier, uh, the member uh, level the silver level, the gold level, and the diamond level. In these, uh, different expectations are required, maybe number of stays or whatnot. And as you stay uh, more often uh, and you go up in these levels, uh, more incentives are given, as you can see in this diagram. In conclusion, in looking at the hotel uh, brand Hilton, and its corporation uh, and the, the look of it across the, the world, um, Hilton prides itself on serving its guests and being very deliberate uh, in showing their care and value for their guests. Uh, they want this displayed through all of their employees, again, from the top down as they constantly push throughout all of their uh, requirements and or expectations of their team. Um, again, this is seen throughout that acronym that we went over earlier, uh, the Hilton an uh, acronym, uh, Hospitality, Integrity, Leadership, Teamwork, Ownership, and Now. Uh, the Hilton Strategic fo Focus, uh, they want exemplary service uh, provided to the target consumers uh, from, again, the highest um, level of their hotel, the luxury hotel chain, down through their budget budget hotels, uh, whether business clients or families, uh, they look at uh, equaling out the playing field and giving the same service all the way across the board. Throughout this, they try to create a culture in their hotel chains that is obvious uh, from the landscapers up through the CEOs and presented to those guests of uh, the hotel chain. And in this, they want to create the loyalty for the Hilton brand um, and bring their clients back and make them feel that they are part of the family of